What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and with TVs getting bigger and bigger, one thing that seems to come up all the time with both TVs and projectors is screen size. So this begs the question of if there's such a thing as a TV being too big. Well today I wanna do a short video to give you my personal opinion to help you make the decision on what size TV to get for your room. Now I just recently did a video about using a small room for a home theater, and the takeaway from that video is that your room is not too small. This is probably the most common an excuse I hear from people when I ask them if they would consider building a home theater. When I mention things like a 100 or 120 inch screen, the person usually says it's too big for their room, but once they give in and try it, they quickly realize they were wrong. Now that's not to say that a big screen works in every room. Of course you need the wall space and high enough ceilings for a huge screen, but even if you're not going with a really big screen, you might still be wondering what size would work for your room. Well if you were to search Google for something like what size TV should I by, you'll probably see a bunch of articles telling you how far you should sit from a big screen. They might mention THX seating recommendations, or you might even see some distance calculators that'll tell you exactly how far you should sit from a certain size TV. And the reason for this is pretty obvious. Your experience watching TV is gonna be directly affected by how far you're sitting away from it. But what I've found is when it comes to seating distance, it's a subjective thing and there really is no wrong size. Well, there is such a thing as being a little too small, but personally, I don't think you could ever go too big and I'm gonna give you some information to back up this claim. The first thing I wanna talk about is resolution. So one of the most common reasons that people often recommend sitting farther away from a large TV is because years ago the TV's resolution wasn't sharp enough. So if you sat too close you would see individual pixels and the image wouldn't look as sharp as it would sitting farther back. But now that even budget TVs have 4K resolution, this really isn't gonna matter as much. To put this into perspective, I've been using a 100 inch 4K laser TV in my living room for the past six months or so and we sit anywhere from seven to 12 feet away from it. Now I'll admit this seven feet is probably too close for most people, but even at that distance, a 4K movie looks fantastic and nobody has ever complained that it was too big or hard to see. So in other words, the image resolution issue isn't really a problem anymore now that we have 4K and 8K TVs. All right, so moving on to our second topic, which is immersion. So another reason that people recommend sitting farther away from the TV is because it's harder to focus on the entire screen. Think of sitting on the front row of a movie theater. Most people don't wanna sit that close because it's difficult to see everything that's going on because you have to constantly move your eyes or turn your head to different parts of the screen. While I agree that there's such a thing as sitting too close to a screen, especially the front row, this is often not the case in your home. Unless you're sitting really close to a 200 inch screen, you're likely not gonna have any trouble seeing the entire screen. Not to mention most homes don't have high enough ceilings to accommodate a screen that big. But if you have the space for a screen anywhere between 75 to 150 inches, and your budget allows, I almost always recommend going big since you can get a more immersive viewing experience. There's an enjoyment that comes with viewing movies or TV shows on a huge screen and being in the comfort of your own home makes it even better. Another thing I wanna talk about is a simple one and that's personal preference. The same people who like sitting far away are probably the same people that sit in the back row of the movie theater. Maybe it hurts their eyes, maybe they wanna see more of the screen, or maybe it just makes them feel better, but again, it's just a matter of of preference. Now when it comes to a screen being too big, one thing I can personally say is that I've never gone to anyone's house and felt like their TV was too big. Now I know that not everyone can afford a big screen since they're really expensive or you may not have the space, but the point I want to make is that you shouldn't let someone else tell you what size TV you should buy because it's really up to you. Now one thing I want to mention while we're on the topic of big screens is that there are a few things that come along with buying bigger TVs, especially if you go with 75 inches or larger. The first thing to consider is that a big TV needs big sound to match. TV speakers usually suck no matter how big the TV is, so at minimum I recommend a decent soundbar. But if you want the simplicity of a soundbar, you should know that some of the more expensive soundbars have a wider sound stage that makes the soundbar seem much larger and wider than it actually is. This is important for big TVs because it makes movies more immersive, which makes the entire viewing experience better. And a home theater speaker setup would be even better. Separate speakers will usually give you louder and clearer sound than most soundbars, 
even though I'll admit it's a slippery slope that can easily go well into the thousands. The other thing to consider if you plan on buying a big TV is the resolution of your content. Getting a bigger screen is gonna stretch out low quality videos and make them look pretty bad. So for example, if you're paying for a Netflix subscription, I recommend upgrading to the 4K tier because 4K movies look significantly better than HD on a huge screen. And if you're still buying Blu-rays, then I highly recommend buying a 4K Blu-ray player instead of full HD since again, it'll look much better if you have a really big screen. But no matter which route you take, the important thing I wanna stress in this video is that TV size is subjective. If you're not into huge screens, that's fine. Nobody knows what you like better than you do, so it's best to do a little research and buy what makes you happy since that's all that really matters. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you did like this video, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.